Hi, and welcome to the next tutorial on text structures. In this session, we are going to cover problem and solution texts. These texts present a problem and then describe how it can be solved. Now, it is easy for your audience or for readers to confuse problem and solution texts with cause and effect texts. The main difference is a cause and effect text does not have to have a solution. On the other hand, a problem solution text begins with a problem. It then moves from the problem to a solution. Oftentimes, the majority of the majority of the writing the author spends will be on framing the problem, and the solution might just be a paragraph or a conclusion or a smaller detail. It is very important as an audience when you're reading and analyzing the problem and solution text structure to identify the problem correctly, identify the different solutions, and if the author is supporting that solution or rebutting that solution. There are also common transition words used during problem and solution text. Problem, solution, therefore, as a result, consequently, hence, thus, because of this, and many more. Let's look at an example. Here's a sixth grade essay on cheating. Did you know that 7 out of 10 students have cheated in at least once in the last year? Did you know that 50% of those students have cheated more than twice? These shocking statistics are from a survey of 9,000 high school students. Here, the author introduces the problem. It uses statistics to basically analyze and talk to the audience about what is going on with cheating. In the next paragraph, they continue to describe the problem. In incredibly, teachers may be encouraging their students to cheat. Last year at Detroit, teachers allegedly provided their teachers with answers to statewide standardized tests. Students at the school told investigators they were promised pizza and money if they cheated on the test as told. Similar allegations at several schools in San Diego have prompted investigation. A student at a local high school says she sees students cheating almost on every test and teachers don't do anything about it. So in this paragraph, the problem is better defined. In the next paragraph, the kids claim they are tempted to cheat because of the pressure and intense competition to get good grades. So they go on and describe it more. Now it is in this last paragraph... where we see the solution. Finding solutions to this problem is difficult. In our main classes, each student has different problems on their test papers, so it is useless to look at someone else's answers. Teachers also could randomly mix the problems through the page. Another solution is for adults to lower their expectations. Perhaps it is time for parents and teachers to examine whether higher test results are important enough to encourage cheating. And as you see this, granted this is a 6th grade student, but you see some of the common Transition words. In the paper, such as perhaps, um, finding solutions to these problems, another, way, another solution. So when you're reading for this text structure, examine and identify the problem, find where the author is discussing the solution, and then look for those common transition words.